day students, I'm Laura Likens. Welcome to part two of the synthesis of aspirin. This part, we're going to look at the purity of our aspirin. And we're going to determine whether all of our salicylic acid has formed aspirin. We're going to do this by using a TLC plate. And TLC is short for thin layer chromatography experiment. We're going to do this by adding a standard of aspirin so where we know that is exactly aspirin and nothing else in it, our homemade aspirin, and then our starting reagent of salicylic acid. And we'll see how they compare. We now have our aspirin synthesized, or at least what we hope is aspirin. So now we need to do our TLC plate. So we're going to dissolve some of our aspirin in ethanol, and then we're gonna use a capillary tube to spot them on our TLC plate. So now we need to start spotting our TLC plate with our three reagents, the standard of salicylic acid, our standard of aspirin and our homemade aspirin. We're going to take our standard of aspirin which has already been prepared for us. We're going to use a capillary tube, so this is a glass tube is extremely thin to make sure that we only have a really thin spot on our TLC plate. So we just dip it into our solution and then we need to make sure that the capillary tube is upright when we spot it. So you'll see there's a little dot that forms and we're going to do that twice to make sure we've got enough solution on our TLC plate. So now we're doing our homemade aspirin. And uh, this is salicylic acid. Before we run the TLC plate, we're going to use a UV light to confirm that we have spotted everywhere. You can see that there are dots at each one of them. The salicylic acid is a bit lighter than the rest and we'll also be able to see it when we run the TLC plate. So now we need to start running our TLC plate but before we can do that we need to make sure that the beaker with our eluent is fully saturated. Okay, so now we need to make sure that the TLC plate is dry before we have a look at it under the UV light again. So here you can see the three different dots. So I'll circle them. So this one, we've clearly got a circle over there. And here. And over there. This is what you're going to use to identify whether our synthesized aspirin formed aspirin completely or whether it still has salicylic acid in it. Now that you have the data from our TLC plate, you can determine the purity of our aspirin. If there are more than one spot in our homemade aspirin, especially one corresponding to the salicylic acid, you can determine whether all of our salicylic acid has reacted to form aspirin or not. If there are any points that do not match the salicylic acid or the aspirin standards that we've used, that probably means that the sample is impure. You're now going to use this data and determine whether our homemade aspirin is pure or not. So this is an experiment that you can also do at home. You'll find more information on this in the chromatography experiment done by a different group of scientists. I hope you've learned something today and enjoy the rest of your day.